Runter, runter, runter. Geh drauf. Bring this arm here right, right away in this position, see? And we do zero pressure principle. What does that mean? It's a direct counter attack. So we cannot stay here if he attack, we cannot stay here and make him stronger. See? So what we do is he stabbed and I go in. Check the arm. See? And what I do with my head, you see that's on the shoulder. But normally I do my head as a head butt, right, right there. But be careful with your partner, okay? It's a bikini guy, so careful. Um, in slow motion, what, what I did here is hacking motion here, right behind, uh, be, uh, underneath his, this elbow bend here, right here. And right after the hack, grab. So the objective is to get a good control of this weapon arm, right? And immediately, combined with this grip here and with this uh, countermeasure, I headbutt him and go into my zero pressure principle. The zero pressure principle is very important that he is not able to pull the arm back and step again, right? So this is the objective of this training. So what we do now is we do our, let's just to let you know what we want to do, right? So weapon away and what we can do is a very good drill, a warm up drill, right? He, uh, we, we assume there is a weapon in the hand, but it isn't. So step, no, without a weapon, okay. without a weapon. No. See, without a weapon, just step, okay. Do your exercise here, this, as soon as you have, do a hack here, grab the elbow and the wrist. So you have an under and over grip. That's the same in Pekidi Tisha, let's see. This is, your, this is our Pekiti index point, right? Our Pekiti index point. So we have an overgrip and an undergrip. And what we do here in this position is exactly the same. It's an undergrip and it's an overgrip. So it is very hard for him to pull his arm back. Right on here. Control the weapon arm. Right? Okay, okay, okay. So what we do now is to make a drill out of that. To get as much as possible repetitions in this short period of time and I come to you hack hacking motion and grab and zero pressure pants principle okay push 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 Good. you come to me again push 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 I come to you again push 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 okay that's our first step have okay. fun with it Thanks. give it a try Apply your principle of zero pressure. In the inside line, we cannot stay longer. That's very dangerous. So we need to go to the outside line as soon as possible. So if you have a good control of the arm, you can go to the outside line um, using an arm drag. See, I'm, my, my right hand is behind the elbow and I pull the arm to the outside line. Maybe I give a headbutt here again and come underneath to in this position here. So I have a straight arm bar in front of my body here. And also I use the principle of zero pressure. So the next step in this drill looks like that. Okay, here's that. From here, here, right? And then again, here, here, here. So it's very close to, to a real fight. We assume that the opponent will resist maybe. And so you have to get moved from inside to outside line. And all the way, you have to control the weapon arm. Okay, let's do that. Okay. It costs a lot of efforts, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Police officers, oh, yeah. they're going to the, yeah. the, yeah. the, yeah. the yeah. 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 handgun out yeah. from this position. Yeah.
And also locking the shoulder up high on the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. To get control. Yeah. Sorry, no. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nice. You right? yeah. Make sure you have a wide grip. You are, you are here at the wrist and here right at his shoulder. Okay? That's better grip. The closer you are, you lost your energy, right? You lost power. So that's the best grip. Okay? So sometimes it's a, a good. Um, it's necessary that you have another option so maybe you slip to that position here for some reason maybe he tried to rotate his arm here and resist so you have the script here also and there are many many options for takedowns but we do at the, at the in the next step is to use the arm swing what we just did let me show you one more time. This was the arm drag, right? This was the arm drag. And now we do the arm swing. From the inside line to the outside line. You switch the position with the hand. Still you have an over and under grip, right? And so you, you disturb his balance downwards and upwards. Come again to the same position here. See? fill the gaps okay and uh, we fill the gaps with uppercut we fill the gaps with elbow we fill the gaps with slaps and with finger jabs or eye jabs it's called eye jabs okay um, the first one we do step by step teaching we incorporate our uppercut into that drill okay once we are in this position here and we go to the outside line I do it that you can see either you do the arm drag or the or the arm swing either way as soon as you come up here you do an uppercut right away in front of his body under under his chin okay and then from here again and now we do the slap Normally we do this at the end of this training within a situational training. So the officer stay looking our face toward this and another person stay behind. And when the trainer gives a command, attack, the officer has to turn around and he doesn't know what kind of attack will come. <laughs> maybe it's a step from underneath like this maybe it's a horizontal attack maybe it's a call attack from above all of this could happen and so it's an reac reaction drill are there sometimes more than even one person there and yeah 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 so you can really get deep with yeah, this stuff right huh? and, e and even to Jared is teaching that with police and military with two persons behind. Right. So you have to recognize which person is the dangerous one, which person carry the knife. <laughs> so that's uh, there's more and more uh, progressive steps in these drills possible. Johannes, if somebody in Germany was watching this video and they want to know more about you, Okay. Where do they find you? You can find me in Club Bushido Wüst Ems, it's called the name of the club. It's close by Wiesbaden. Wiesbaden is in Hessen, close by Frankfurt. Sir, thank you very much for that. Thank you, thank you sir. <laughs> You're welcome.